How you doing guys? We're here at Disneyland today. There are some new foods that we didn't check out last time. These are even more new foods here at Disneyland. They have some foods that are seasonal. They have some foods that are for Disney 100. There's a lot and Janelle and I are gonna go everywhere to try to find these. We're gonna have a great time today. So why don't you join us today on this Magic Journeys. Here we go. First, we're gonna stop over to the Hungry Burst. Let's go. It's only tradition. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, gotta <that is> famous. <laughs> How you doing? Like yeah, you go up a stand right there and oh do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. it is. <laughs> That's the face. That's the picture. I think this beaver needs to have a name because we're always passing by him. I think since we're in Hungry Bear, we're going to call him, I don't know, Barry the Hungry Beaver. I think that's what it's gonna be. Barry the Hungry Beaver. Barry the Hungry Beaver. I love it. If it's, if it's. Come on, let's go. Now, if you're ever here in Critter Country, one place you really need to check out is the Hungry Bear. They got a lot of tasty food. They got burgers, they have shakes, they have some loaded fries, and they also have delicious funnel cakes that you guys can come and check out. One of my favorite spots to come to is the Hungry Bear. And if you haven't checked it out yourself, I definitely suggest you should. All right, so we got our mobile order for the first pickup here at Hungry Bear. We just have to get our food. All right, so this is a potato and cheddar cheeseburger. Now this is a third pound of Angus chuck patty, green chili and bacon cheddar sauce and the spicy crispy potato plank on a brioche bun. And it either gets served with fries or oranges, your choice. But look at that. Oh so my good. goodness. Those big, there's two big giant potatoes right there. They're like hash browns. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a bite of this. Oh. Wow, guys, let me tell you what, I love the cheese inside with the jalapeno, that is the star of this. And the potatoes are also very tasty, they're crispy, and on the inside they melt away in your mouth. I love the patty too. The only thing I have an issue with is the patty's a little dry, but aside from that, it is very tasty, and it's something I recommend. Honestly, I'd probably say this is one of my favorite burgers here now <laughs> at the Hungry Bear. I'm just laughing, I'm so good, <laughs> I'm laughing because the sun's coming out and it's like shining. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like a vampire. Okay, gradually, gradually it's going like brighter, It's getting brighter and brighter, and brighter on my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that is very good and I definitely recommend it here at the Hungry Bear. So we're about to transport you into Galaxy's Edge. We're gonna walk over to Rancho's Rollsters because they have a new ice drink. It looks really cool. I feel like we had that one before, but it's a different flavor, so follow me. It's definitely been a while since we've been into Galaxy's Edge and it's great to walk in and just see stormtroopers again. Everyone having a good time and the Millennium Falcon just looking so majestic. I love this land. So over at Ronto's Roasters, I got myself the Destin Ice Cap. It has orange tangerine syrup and cream cheese foam on top. If I can remember, it does foam up but once you start swirling it. So let me try it like this and then swirl it. Okay, interesting. So in order for you to enjoy this drink, you definitely do have to mix it. When I first had that sip, it tasted like a nasty cream cheese. It wasn't good. But once I mixed it, it kind of reminded me of like a Fanta, orange Fanta creamsicle. Like, but then again, the cheese foam just disappeared. Like the cheese taste disappeared. Now it just tastes like pure Fanta. I mean, I would love it. And I'm gonna enjoy it. Cause it's pretty good and fun to drink too. So cheers. All right, so we're here in Fantasyland. Next, we're gonna go over to the Red Rose Tavern because they have this sandwich that isn't technically new, but it's one we didn't even know about. I know, I we're looking at, we're looking at the menu and we're like, wait, have you ever tried this sandwich? It looks really good <laughs> Yeah, so it may not be new, but it's new to us. Yes. So let's go check it out. So you have made it inside the Red Rose Tavern. Inside the Red Rose Tavern, you're gonna find burgers, chicken tenders, flatbreads, amazing foods, but you guys, let me show you what we got. So I'm not sure that it's new, but it is new to us. It's a chicken cordon bleu sandwich. Let me open it up for you. It has prosciutto, Swiss cheese, Dijon mustard, spinach, topped with a brioche bun. There you go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. so yeah, this is, like you said, it's mm. not new, but it is new to the channel because we've never yes. seen this. <laughs> I know, I'm like, wait, how did we skip through this? I do <laughs> love their um, their burgers here, though. They're so good. Anyway, start with the show. Here. Okay, how is this new to us? We should have known this a long time ago. This is a really yummy sandwich. Now the chicken is nice and moist. I love the spinach. I also love the brioche bun. And that cheese, I love that cheese. Swiss cheese is like chef's kiss. Now, I do wish it was maybe a little spicy because it kind of reminds me of a chicken sandwich. But I feel like if it was like a mild chicken, I feel like the flavors would have been more elevated. But it's just your basic chicken sandwich. And if you're craving that here at Red Rose Tavern, Here's all this. Don't be disappointed, trust me. 
We're going in, Janelle. Yes, Vicky's Two Town. Well, Two Town is not open yet. That's on March 19th, so mark your calendars. But we're gonna wear Mickey and Minnie's Modern Runway Railway. We haven't done it yet, so this is pretty exciting. It's our first time riding it here yeah, at Disneyland. You guys, the many times I tried to get 7 a.m. boarding pass and a 1 p.m. boarding pass. We didn't get lucky neither of the times that we've been here, but this time we kind of bit our tongue and we said, let's just get a lightning lane. We normally don't do it, but I feel like this time it's a ride to ride, so I'm excited. We're inside of half a doom town. It's been forever. All right, so first you get your lightning lane scan and then you get to go in. It seems like when you go through the lightning lane, you kind of go, oh look. Whoa. Wow. I've seen a lot of people in line that are like a move slow, but it's moving pretty fast right now. We're inside the El Capitoon. Yes, finally. we're gonna watch a nice short film. <laughs> yeah, before we get on the ride, we're here to watch a little film. Let's see what it's all about. That Look was at cool. that mess I have to clean up. Darn Disney. We got to see the premiere of Perfect Picnic. Mm -hmm. Perfect Picnic. <laughs> You're at the El Capitoon. <laughs> yes. Until the screen just spontaneously exploded. <laughs> the last time we rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was at Walt Disney World. So it's kind of weird. I feel like we're there. I know. It kind of feels like I'm at Walt Disney World right now. Hollywood Studios. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. I tell you how. I'm still learning the word. Uh, row seven, lucky number seven. <laughs> lucky number seven. <laughs> So cool. I'm glad we finally have this here at Disneyland. Yes, I feel like it belongs here. <laughs> this is where it belongs. Next, yes. to, next to uh, Roger Rabbit. This is what Roger Rabbit should have been in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, but Roger Rabbit is still top notch. Oh yeah, always. Oh, I love this. You got a little tribute to Walt Disney here. He loved his trains. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Walt. Guys, we're here in Toontown. We just got to go inside the El Capitoon Theater and ride Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. And let me tell you, it's a spectacular ride. The queue is what really makes this attraction. Now, we got lightning lane, so we didn't really get to see it. We kind of like bruised pretty quick. So I tried to show you as much as I could while we're walking through it really fast. That's the thing about lightning lane. You're not gonna be able to see the queue. You're gonna go right through it. But let me tell you, it was so much fun. We had a great time and I can't wait to ride it again. We usually don't do Lightning Lane, but we try to get the reservations for 7 a.m. We try to do it again at 1 p.m. and they're gone like that. And the first day they opened, we tried to get the Lightning Lanes and they were also instantly gone. So we waited about, about two weeks for it to calm down. And finally we got to get a Lightning Lane. We got to go inside and 
It was so much fun. I'm glad it's here at Disneyland and not just only at Walt Disney World. It almost feels like the 90s where everything's all colorful and vibrant. That's how it was back then and that's what it feels like now. It's very colorful. The only thing I don't like is there's this big giant wall behind me that represents the mountains. It used to be this 3D wall that had some really cool depth. That's gone. It's just a flat wall and that kind of makes me a little sad because I like that illusion of us being here in the hills in Toontown. But once they bring down these walls, it's gonna look so cool, I'm hoping. Uh, because I just saw this little grassy area on the other side, which uh, looked a little underwhelming, so that scared me a little bit. Also, Daisy's restaurant is coming, it's a little cafe. I hope they have some new foods, because that's what we need. And uh, yeah, once they open up that restaurant, we're gonna try whatever they have there. I'm hoping it's new food, because Disney, you have to do that. It's a new land, new food. <laughs> the Disney 100 here at Disneyland. It was a lot of fun that day. There's a few things we didn't get to do, like the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Uh, we didn't get to see one World of Color, but we did get to see Wondrous Journeys, and that was amazing. I just want to know, who's coming to Disney 100? Who's here to celebrate for that? Uh, we missed some foods too. Like right now, we're gonna check out the Violet Pretzel and this new drink for the Disney 100 celebration. Let's go inside and get it here at the Refreshment Corner. At the refreshment corner, you can get one of these. Now this is the Violet Pretzel, and it's a cream cheese filled pretzel drizzled with salted vanilla cream and lavender sugar. It's very pretty, and look, they got these Disney 100 plates now, <laughs> and it's matching the plate. Very nice, can't wait to try this out for myself. All right, and it's just a regular cream cheese uh, pretzel, so I don't think it's gonna be anything special, but it's got that nice little frosting on top. It almost tastes like a donut. <laughs> it's sweet on the outside. It's got a little bit of saltiness to it too. So it's got a great balance. Uh, nice cinnamon taste. I do like it, um, but is it any different from like a regular cream cheese filled pretzel? I don't, a little bit, not much. It just has frosting, that's it. So think of a regular cream cheese filled pretzel with frosting. That's pretty much it. It's good. I would get it again, but I don't think it's really anything that special. <laughs> I think that's better. Like for instance, yeah. I have a jalapeno um, cheese pretzel. The jalapeno that cream one cheese with pretzel. Cheese? Oh my ah, goodness! Good day. Oh, and remember that Oreo? Uh, no, the cookies and cream pretzel. The milk, yeah. Oh Ooh, my, my gosh, goodness. that was like the best pretzel I've had here. And I don't know if they still have it. We have to go check. But this is good. That was better. <laughs> mm -hmm. So over at the refreshment corner, I got the sparkling violet. It has Sprite, some grape syrup and has the blue candy strip right on top and a little bit of little, nice little glitter. Um, the presentation is not there, but let's see how it tastes. <laughs> yeah, because it, it looks a little... Uh, like a little... Yeah. What's happening? I was expecting... Let me show you. I was expecting this. Let me zoom in for the camera. I was expecting this. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. And so I got this, which I get it, you know? Sometimes it's busy or... I don't know, but let's see how it tastes. Okay, it reminds me of a grape Kool-Aid jammer. Do you remember those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that with Sprite in this cup. The milk and cookies pretzel. Yeah, so you have to get a pretzel for your celebration. Get this one here That's at the one. This is the I best one. I promise you, one. you'll love it. It is chef's kiss. <laughs> be permanent here, but it's just for the 100 celebration. <laughs> So I made it here to Galactic Grill Girl here in Tomorrowland where they have two new items for the 100 celebration. It's a planet, planetary, no, platinum trifle and the old fashioned cream soda. So mm. let's go. Now this interesting looking drink. Now this is an old fashioned cream soda. It's got spry cherry and blue cotton candy gourmet syrup served frozen with whipped cream and purple pixie dust right on top. That looks really cool. I'm just obsessed and it's, with the, pinky, the, the pixie dust. I know, right? It looks cool. I like it. It's very festive. That's a blast of cotton candy. Really? <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> oh man, it's so cotton candy. Oh no, in a good way or a bad way? Uh, in a... Oh, very sugary way. <laughs> in like, uh, I, I like it in like, maybe I'll take two sips and then I'm like good. <laughs> oh no. It's really, it's really sweet. It's nice. It kind of reminds me like of cotton candy like type candy. Not cotton candy specifically. Yeah, yeah. But like cotton candy flavored stuff. Uh huh. Kind of like, remember the bubble gum, the cotton candy bubble yeah, gum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this tastes like. Really? Yeah. The bubble bubble gum? Mmm. <laughs> I like it, but I don't want to have more of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Sweet. 
It's like something a kid would love. Yeah, it's good, but it's so sweet. Right? Like hubba bubba sweet. Overly like, sweet. I mean, if you want to substitute candy, this is it right here. Doesn't taste like cotton yeah, candy, like flavored bubble gum? Yeah, it tastes like cotton candy. Like, if you don't want cotton candy, like us, oh, it's too much, this would be it. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah, it's a little too much. I think we're going to share this to finish it because yeah. I want to be able to finish this all by myself. I'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. And at the end, you'll, catch, you'll see me like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired and sugar crash. Oh my gosh. She's yeah, going to sugar a... crash on uh, Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys, I got the planetarium trifle. It has layers of chocolate cookie crumbles, cheesecake, cherry compote, chocolate cookie mousse, creme fraiche, chantilly, and chocolate crunch pearls. That's oh my lot. goodness. There's a lot. <laughs> And it's, it's kind of similar to like the dark red chocolate, a little bit different, don't you think? I think so. Right? It looks very pretty though, it I'll tell you that. It does look really pretty. Okay, so let's just dig in. Here we go. I, I wish I could get like every layer, so like I go slowly so I can get, nothing falls off my- oh, is that a strawberry? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. If this is better than the dark red chocolate, I'm gonna scream. Okay, ready? <laughs> wow, that was a very good treat. It's not as good as the dark spark chocolate. This is more like a cheesecake, like a very tarty like cheesecake. Especially when you have like those cherry and the cherry compote. It, it's really good. Like, Whoa, don't drop your little hungry medallion on top. All that it? is is just chocolate. You want it? Last time I, I ate the other one, you can have that one. <laughs> mm -mm. It's crunchy. Ooh. But I still say go for the dark spark chocolate. Trust me on that one. It's still the best. <laughs> Yeah. Although I do want to mention that they did change the recipe on the dark spark chocolate. I didn't notice this at the time was eating the dark spark chocolate in the last video. But I don't know if you remember, but they had like a chocolate ganache right on top. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah I remember. It was like a thick, thick chocolate layer, like almost like a yeah, ganache. Yeah. I miss. They need to add that again and then put the Oreos on top. Yeah, come on, Disney. I didn't realize at the moment because it's still pretty good even without it. But I, I feel like it's now that I'm noticing it, I feel like it's missing the the chocolate on top. It needs that extra punch. Yes, <laughs> but this is good. I'm gonna enjoy it. Enjoy the sights and sounds because it is nighttime and this is when at the park, this is when the park gets really lively. So let's do it. So that footage you saw was from the last time we were here at the Galactic Grill trying out those two treats. And I remember one of them was just extremely sweet. Ah, <laughs> one of them that we tried was just so sweet. The cotton candy tasting, Old fashioned oh drink soda. If you don't want coffee, but you still want to wake up, that's the drink to go. To yeah, get. it's not just gonna wake you up. It's gonna make you jump up and down <laughs> all over these walls because it's it's way too much sugar, guys. I'm telling you, I liked it, but too sweet for me. <laughs> guys, hear the sounds of the Matterhorn? They sound very scary. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so haunting supposed to sound that way because it's supposed to make you feel like you're in the tippy top of the Matterhorn. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds spooky. You're right. So we're wandering around Main Street and we saw that the Disneyland Fire engine is here. We're gonna hop on. If you guys have never ridden on a Main Street vehicle ever, I suggest you do it. It's free. You can just get on. You're riding on a piece of history. There we go. We're here on Main Street <laughs> and it's great. You get to go down Main Street. It's it's an experience. It also makes you feel like you're on a parade. <laughs> you're sitting where Walt Disney once sat. I know. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for letting us lock the horn. That was awesome. My heart is beating so fast for that. I don't know why, but I loved it. So if you have to experience something here at Disneyland, it's going to be the vehicles. Oh, yeah. They're fun. cast member made a magical moment for you. Yeah, she really did. She gave us so much history, and she was so kind and sweet for letting me sit on Walt's seat. That's that's awesome. She let you honk you. the horn, too. I know. Oh, my gosh. Honk, honk. <laughs> All right, so right here, these are the Disney 100 churros. Look at these, they're so sparkly. <laughs> and these are rolled in cherry sugar, and they have little pearls, like little silver pearls, and it's, wow, it's covered in frosting too. Wow, I can't wait to try these. All righty, here we go. <laughs> That's not bad, I'll tell you this. They taste just like regular churros, which is why I like it, I think. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything weird. 
I don't really taste the cherry. It just tastes like cinnamon. It's got that crunchy sugar on top and a lot of frosting. So instead of having some vanilla dipping sauce, it's already on the churro. I like it. Would I get a regular churro instead of this? Probably, because I love the regular churro. But this is fun, and you're celebrating the Disney 100. So why not try it for yourself and take a few pictures? I'm pretty sure during the day it looks very pretty with all the sparkling like oh, pearls. Yeah. I like it, guys. What a great time we had here at the Disney 100 celebration. I want to know in the comments below who's coming to Disneyland to celebrate Disney 100. Let me know. I really want to know. But yeah. Very cool. <laughs> I'm gonna try the one with the bunch with the pearls on it. That one. Mm. What do you think? You're right. It just tastes like a regular churro. Right. But you just make it fun because of the the color. Yeah, it's right? it's a Disney 100 themed mm -hmm. churro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. There's only one thing to do. Run away. <laughs> oh my god, there she goes. What a phenomenal night we had tonight, guys. Mm -hmm. We tried a lot of tasty food and we hope we helped you out in some way. <laughs> we really want to thank you all for watching our videos. Yes. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, what you doing? it's time to subscribe. <laughs> leave us a comment, leave us a like. We just want to say we love you, but we're going to see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.